do Coolidge no more. It's hard. It's really hard. Because I want to do here. that while yeah, you're, you're doing that. Yeah. That's fun. You can do I that. I want to do that <laughs> when <laughs> you're talking about Italy. I don't even do Jennifer Coolidge, but I'm you like, just did. would you look at that? <laughs> Who does that remind me of? Oh, my God. Well, that's our character. I tell you, I knew. Heavy breath. <laughs> yeah, it's not even <laughs> Jennifer even. Oh, that's like a real <laughs> shaky lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys just did the divorce ladies, yeah, the too. Yeah, we're, we're the shaky lady. We're the divorced ones. Lady. Didn't you love that one? Yeah, you all shake Why are we all get shaking? a divorce. <laughs> the divorce. You guys were holding your <laughs> beverage just getting divorced. Hey you guys, welcome to Not Cool with Sarah Highland. Yep, that's right, you might be watching, and if you're watching, you're noticing that my mouth is not matching up with the words I'm saying. You're right, your tablet's right, there's no sound. There was a slight issue with our audio file, no one's to blame, but there's no sound. We do come in about 36 minutes on the episode, but just wanted to give a proper intro to my amazing guest. She's a comedian, actress, social media superstar. She has millions of followers and views across all social platforms on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and she's an amazing, intelligent, smart, hilarious, ultra-talented, multifaceted, my beautiful friend, Manon Matthews. And we pick up on this clip, you guys, when we're already talking about her ex-relationship, what she thinks about influencing, the trip, the trials and errors that come along with relationships in our whole life. Uh, we talk about content creating and not content creating and what keeps the motivation going to, to keep being an artist uh, in one way or the other and to also try out, you know, relationships and being a new mom and everything that's going on in Manon's life, which is very inspiring. And, and I think all of us can relate to Manon in so many ways. So please enjoy the episode. I love you guys. Thanks for sticking with me through the audio issues. It will be better next time, but hope you like it this time. Love you guys. Thanks. And here we go. I watch a lot of influencers. I will call you an influencer. Okay, we're going back. Oh, the iron. Oh. No, it's fine. No, 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 no. Uh, but no, 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 no. I don't care. It is. I what only it is. say that because Everyone, uh, there's a trail of probably younger girls that look up to you that like follow yeah, what you say. That's forget why about I was... that. Forget that. There's like fifteen year olds. They're like, I want to be an influencer. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's yeah, a great, it powerful position. Like, I think it's. I think it's a. Uh, 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 there's no hate about it. I'm like, that's. It's a new vision, and yeah. I. I don't want to title you an influencer i just say that because you do have nearly a million followers on instagram um two point something on 2.7 or something on tiktok so it's like you do have the influence you do have younger people behind you that are mm -hmm. like damn like that is i would give anything to be able to be silly like that and to like have i think yeah i actually feel like that's been helpful yeah to the youngies i can i feel like a lot of women are goofy today Yes. They weren't like that. Hot girls, too. Hot like, girls. Oh. <laughs> Real hot ones. <laughs> too hot. I'm like, you know what? Calm down. Who's? You can oh, be oh. hot and funny. No. Well, there's. Well, you can. Well, who else was the Van star? Hannah Stocking, actually, that, that you guys, I think, were probably in that same class, mm -hmm. like King Batch and all those guys mm -hmm. that came up. And she, I just listened to her on a podcast. But yeah, of like same kind of situations kind of felt. I just, I believe strongly in like fate. I think right time. You go into it with a very open perspective of not this isn't your goal is to get these followers, but in the same with her, like it just kind of <laughs> organically rolled into something. Yeah, I think if you was. like doing something, it's going to work out. Yeah. You know, like the actors that stay with it because they just genuinely love acting and that art, they're going to I feel they will find success not only because of how long they go at it is because they genuinely love it. But if you're going for something to get famous or whatever, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like that would be harder. Yeah. You know? 
That's a lot of people. And those people, though, I get really pet. I don't, don't mind my hand movements. They're very. Um, I like it. It's a lot. It's aggressive. No, and I no, don't no. know what it is that is happening with my it's body. It's a channel. Right now. I don't know. It's a channel. It's too much. And Energy. it takes over my whole hand. Yeah. And I don't. I'm trying to control it. There's a lot of things I'm trying to control since watching myself on camera. I'm like, I fidget too much. I think I have a tick. Oh, like, are you kidding me? I'm always like. <laughs> It's disgusting. I know. Jen's like, you have this new thing where you're itching your nose. I'm like, great, a new tick. Uh, Fucking awesome. I just did it. I just did it. I know. I've had I had ticks when I was a kid too. Same. You did? Are you kidding me? What were yes. your ticks? I, itching my nose all the time and like blinking, blinking and like I go like this a lot. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I used to make sounds with. I used to do sounds with my. Oh my god, I can't. I would yawn uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. I think it's anxiety. <laughs> So now that I'm older, it's it comes out different releasing. ways. It's yeah, just, it's like energy shooting out different ways. I think. Yeah, because I think you. Or I don't want to project this on you, but for me, <laughs> and probably for you, <laughs> I think for funny people too as well. There's just so much. When you're a kid, you're running around all day. You're doing crazy shit. You're just going blah, 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 <laughs> right, and then but then it uh, as an adult we are like supposed to tame it. I can't do it. I so it, energy has to shoot out. In some ways, whether it's a leg shake, like I was always a leg shaker in middle school mm -hmm. or like a whatever. It's just like there's so much that wants to be expressed from within <laughs> and we have to hold it to like be in the meeting. <laughs> and I don't want to be in the meeting. I just want to be like, <laughs> like, and, like, it's just, you know, I do know. Yeah, it's so tiring physical. trying to hold it all in. Yeah. I think that's where illness comes from. <laughs> like well don't even get me started don't even on get that. me started, don't even get me started don't even on that. Try that well because it's true i do believe that i do believe that like cancers and all those things like i i do i think it's all i mean it's com a lot combination with environmental stuff oh like i mean we're surrounded by started. don't even it's don't even disgusting the shit that is everywhere but it's it actually emotional. has it's a problem yeah yeah and then <laughs> I think we need to go scream and off a ledge block. somewhere and then throw ourselves off in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, it's not and light ourselves on fire. One hundred percent. If we just went to the Grand Canyon, everything would detox out of the body, and we'd be <laughs> fine uh, living there at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> but instead, Los are. Angeles with the helicopters. <laughs> you're not. You're from here, though. You're from Los Angeles. From. And you moved Born to and the raised. East Coast for, for a little like a hot second. minute. Yeah, I loved it. I wish I would have stayed. Really? Well, actually, no, because COVID. That would have been tough. Okay. So but I liked it a lot. What did you like about Pissed. it? As what? opposed to LA. Well, I just knew LA. Yeah. I, just, yeah. I was like, oh, I get it. Been there, done that. I wanted a new experience where I didn't know anybody. And it was just like, man, and in the big city, single. <laughs> and then immediately I got engaged. It was so annoying. To the guy. To the guy. <clears throat> to the guy with my name tattooed on his chest. Okay, there were so many red flags. I love you so, so much, many. Manon. Oh, I know now. He love bombed you. Wasn't that a love bomb? Yeah, Wasn't but I. A yeah, but I believed it. I was like, yeah, I am all those things. So it makes sense. Finally, somebody sees me. Somebody <laughs> acknowledges it. I didn't know like that's a tactic to get to lure. I didn't know. I was like sheltered as a kid. Yeah, because I was love bombing him too. So yeah. am I that then? Am I the red flag? No, I think it always takes two. No, do you know how many toxic situations I've been in in my life? Do you, I have seen so many toxic. Don't eat. Do, so many. You wrote it down. Do you have them all it's listed so in crazy. alphabetical? Especially those. those and you're in, like, I'm going to be with her. But those intense, obsessive. Yeah. Getting names tattooed. It's very lesbian. I don't have get, any tattoo. Don't Lesbians do, do that? Oh my god! Within the first date, they're like, "I'm gonna get my name tattooed yeah. on your heart." And you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, it's it's intense, right away. Like, damn. I'm, and I'm guilty. I'm it's because we're clean slates. You you see a clean canvas. There's no trauma attached, so you're almost in that love flow state of like a child. Yeah. A child is completely present because they're not thinking about yesterday or they're not thinking about what I'm gonna do later. They're just fully present. So there's no blocks yet. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. And there's no rush. If it's urgent, it's not spiritual. So if you can get my name tattooed now, you can do it in a year. More yeah. will be revealed. Or in five years.
Yeah. Like that is a good rule of thumb. I mean, you have tattoos. I, have, but I know. So and some of them are cover ups from relationships I shouldn't have been. Oh, really? Yeah. What's one That's of what I'm saying. Please don't do it. <laughs> I don't have any because do you, I changed my mind too much. Yeah, don't do it. Like I, I, I don't regret any of them, but I will say the two cover ups I have were from a, a relationship. Was that it was their name? Obsessive. No, it was something that they drew because I'm an artist. Oh. <laughs> The, but they drew it they drew it yeah mm -hmm. my best friend has that he has his ex-girlfriend drew something yeah but it wasn't didn't look doesn't look good yeah like he shouldn't have tattooed it wasn't like pretty yeah let me see they're not pretty anymore man and this was two red hearts it was a red heart and a pink heart and now it's completely black and then this one was a yellow heart that that person drew and now it's a balloon okay well, first of all that looks great thanks and the dog next to it that's my dog okay that one i don't regret that that's, i will get that's pink. i'm going to get russell on my arm that's the only one i can think of that would make 100 percent sense that yeah. i would never regret definitely from my experience pick something that is consistent in your life don't pick a partner no offense jen no but well, don't I, pick don't I'm no not, names no don't do it unless it's my kid's name yeah unless that i could do name. yeah right that's yes but a, a person oh my god i was like a serial what's it called monogamist yeah. where you i just would like one year relationships back to back to back like i'm not reliable i don't trust myself enough to be like i'm gonna get your name <laughs> like that's for me because i because i know me yeah no it's for everybody but i never love i had one love bomb guys that was always something that i was like I would feel stuff, but I was always careful of my word. Mm. I don't know why. Meaning, that Well, actually, I do know why. I learned neuro-linguistic programming, which is the study of like how language affects our behavior and what we say to ourselves is most important. And so I never wanted to say things to hook people in. I wanted them to just be... I wanted to feel like I was enough without saying the thing. And so... Obviously, all that went out the window with this guy. When he started saying these things, I really did believe him. And I felt like the connection was so strong. And so I did offer words back. And then it blew up. There was a lot of red flags. You're absolutely right. But I need to learn that lesson. That's what I I mean. didn't know any better. Of course. It's not even... Listen, if I was public with some of my early relationships, they're just not... Pub they just weren't documented. Yeah. Everybody in the... If you can sit and judge, have any judgment about anybody's relationships, like you need to live a little more. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I'm mean, like so glad I went through that. I'm so glad people got to see it. I'm so glad that I got to write about it and share about it and express that like, hey, just because one man's in pain and decides to be dishonest doesn't mean I now shut my heart off right. to love. That's on them. That had nothing to do with me not being good enough. I could have made it mean that. But I don't actually believe that. I feel like I showed up in that relationship honest, open, vulnerable, loving, funny. I'm like confident with that. Yeah. If this would have happened 11 years ago or 12 years ago, it would have ruined me 100%. And that's like why I feel like it happened to me then was so that I could share the message of like, please don't close your heart. You deserve love. Mm -hmm. It's not personal. Like nothing's personal. Everybody's projecting their inner state outward all of the time. When a person says, I hate you, has nothing to do with you. When a person says, I love you, has nothing to do with you. It kind of takes the magic out of it. <laughs> but like, that's how I've lived. And it, but it's, it's kept me, it's taken me off this like roller coaster of life, which is not as exciting. I'll say like, there's a lot of my life that feels really boring now. Yeah. But I'm sure it's okay. <laughs> Not really, but the, the creation's fun. Like yeah, I like but, watching movies or like reading books or like listening to my friends' drama. I don't want to come home and like be in drama with my partner. Like, yeah, no thanks. But look how much energy that you have to put towards other things. I think that's the thing in our early twenties, which a lot of that happens. It's like we exude so much energy. We can't. We don't have the capacity to kind of sit with ourselves and find and get to that level of. You're, you know, a very human perspective. We're too busy with the drama in our life that we created. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's great. The fact that know? anyone creates is so bizarre. Yeah. They, that's, I mean, I think the best artists are the ones that like have gone through stuff that they're just like turning it into art, I guess. Yeah. So, and I guess like, so now, you know, it sounds like your life is a little more grounded. It's so peaceful and grounded. Yeah. So I guess, so do you feel, because, which is very attractive, which is what everybody You think so? Of. Yeah. Maybe to some people, do you think it's attractive to chaotic driven people? I don't think they're in that same, they're not, they're not the same energy plane. Like I don't. Because I feel like if it were me looking at me, because I used to look at people that had. I understand that. Seemed peaceful and I thought, 
they're not happy. That's what I thought. That's what I would tell myself. And I'm like, well, it's not about being happy. It's like I have many moments of bliss and then I have many moments of pain. That's like not a realistic goal. Yeah. It's just interesting to hear you say like that's attractive. I'm like, oh, that's a good reframe for me. Now? Yeah, but if yeah, man, of course. but like when you're 22, you want to like get crazy. Fuck yeah! Do you think my nieces look at me <laughs> and they're like, I want to be just like you? I have to, they fucking yeah, think they I'm do. a great. They. Oh my god! Of course they do. Of course they do, and that's I get it. Like there's no, I you know I look at them and I'm like, you're not gonna make it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> you are not, and they won't. You're not gonna make it in this life. But that you know I keep that to myself. <laughs> but it's just except for right now. Yeah. Well, they know. They know you. I know love them so much. That's, I love them so much. How much are, how old are they? How much do they cost? Sure, they're 22. Oh, okay. They cost a lot. They're an only fan. No, they, they're no, amazing. They are? No. I'm oh, kidding. God. I mean, maybe. I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. We they to look it up. travel a lot with a lot of money that I don't know where it comes from. Oh, but really? I love them so much. I love you guys. Um, huh. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think it's right or wrong. I think it's just the evolution of, because you'll look back when you're 40 and you'll look back at when you were 34 and mm-hmm. pregnant and being like, damn, like I really thought I had it on lock. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm going to look back and be like, oh, you're all smug. You think life's all peaceful. It's so cute. But that's yeah, life, right? That's totally. Like, that's exactly what always happens. That's what's up. That's why it's really hard for me to always watch like older content. I don't know if you ever go through that and you'll see you're and like, whoa, I... oh my God, I've grown so much oh my god i can't believe how small and like quiet i was i'm so quiet right now but like there's like little it's funny to like look back at your younger self and you just like i don't know if you have compassion for her do you i uh no i 100 percent do i do i yeah because i definitely that's how i have that perspective if i look at you know myself in younger videos where i'm like damn you're doing the best you could huh buddy like in not a bad way but like oh that's where you were at that time would i make that content now no yeah so I guess that's what's hard for me lately is like I thought when I was gonna get pregnant like oh my god there's gonna be so much good content that comes out of being (laughs) pregnant I've not made one video about being like I've said one thing like oh my boobs are big which was really funny and got a shit ton of views so it did and it was really funny but I'm like I'm like oh I should because the old man and was like boom 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 Mm -hmm. I've had this expectation that like I'd I'd make more pregnancy videos like this is good content and i'm just like sitting around well i think that but that would bring me to one of my last questions before i ask my last question is that do you feel because you're not alone in this i've watched other comedians artists very publicly talk about this of the pressure and the expectation of constantly putting content out that it makes it you know, not fun because of where our world is right now Mm -hmm. with content and people consuming it, that if you take a day off, they're like, "Eh, well, I guess you're not creating anymore. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Move over to something else and this constant pressure. So I guess, do you, do you feel that as somebody who is, you know, a very successful content creator Mm -hmm. with where you are in your life? All the time. Yeah. All the time. I think I need to like put a re- reset button every single day and not attach to like yesterday. Yeah. Because now I'm having this narrative like I'm not creating content anymore. Okay. Well, then my unconscious mind is listening and going, okay, we won't. Mm-hmm. I think I need to change my language about it and say I wasn't. Now I am and see what comes up. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> no, I, I love when you talk about <laughs> your Start unconscious going. mind is my favorite thing. on the Unconscious. Because yeah. yeah. um, you're so smart. You're so emotionally intelligent. It's amazing. I, I just, I love it. Um, Thank you. But do you, is there a part of you that you have any fear that one day you would just be like, I don't want to create content All anymore. the time. Yes, I've already had that day <laughs> eight times. <laughs> I want to have that day so many times. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm complete. I did that as an actress two years ago. I was like, I'm not an actress anymore. I'm done. And then literally, literally that day or the next, I tested for the lead of a TV show that got made. And I was like, huh. Okay. So that taught me that it taught me two things. I just need to loosen my grip, I guess, and just like give it over. And two, I mean, I don't know if that's a sign that like I should be acting because at that prior to that time, I'd never tested for a TV show. Um, I was just like not even getting callbacks. I was like, clearly, this is not my this isn't working. I should just be online because that is got to go where with the energy is flowing, I Mm -hmm. guess, and not think that it has to be a certain way. Um, But then I haven't tested since and I don't know what's going on. So I'm just like, I don't know. What was the question? So. (laughs) I know. It's a lot. I just can't do it anymore. I don't know what it is, but I'm not doing it. 
creating content. I'm not going to do it. Oh, well, creating content. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. Will be I guess day. that was a question. Yeah. Sure. Then yes. you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I want to yeah. go teach yoga. That's what I'm going to do now. That's no, I am now. Me, Yes, I am not. I became a life coach in 2020 because I was like, I'm not doing content. I'm going to be a life coach. And then mm-hmm. I tried that for six months and it was great, but it was really draining. And I was like, oh, I miss making funny videos. So I just don't know if there's any like this will be I, nothing's definitive because yeah. I can say I quit and then a month later be like, oh, my God, Johnny, film this real quick. <laughs> there's a surge of energy. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh, that's funny. Post it because everything's always been so spontaneous. Mm-hmm. And I keep trying to fit the mold of like maybe I'll get a manager, a content manager, an assistant, and then they'll come and they'll film me and they'll edit and they'll post. for. I've never done it like that. Not one time have I had that kind of structure. I've always been a this is funny. I'm going to post it now. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, and because the most, I guess the most, um, uh, it looks premeditated content I've seen is this with Laura Cleary, mm. who, how did you guys, you guys make, I, both of you individually, autonomously are so fucking talented. But then when you guys together, it seems to be like this kismet energy that it's like, oh, you guys, it's so funny. Thank you. How did you guys meet? If it's a long story, don't don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, because we don't have time. We can move on. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. No, no, no. She's a great. We connect. We, we I don't know. We both found each other really funny like years ago. Yeah. We met for a four hour coffee. I mean, it wasn't going to be four hours, but every time we would get together, we would just like talk like this. And it was like spiritual and deep and connected, kind of funny. Mm. And then it like took years to be like, we should film this. Yeah. Because I felt like it was just so there's just certain relationships where you're just like you feel like you've met your match that you're not depleted and you're just feeling expansive and it's just like yes we're playing tennis and it will just keep hitting the ball and that's how it feels and I love being around her she's such a powerful woman manifester like just joy like she brings out a really great side of me yeah I will say that like being around her helps me almost like find that part of me that like Sometimes I scared I'm scared I've lost. Ooh. I love her. You can tell. I'm grateful. No, you can tell. And I think that's why people are so I've watched every single video you guys did. You're gonna make me cry. (laughs) Are we being mad? I'm not even pregnant. (laughs) Why am I crying? We're just like so lucky to have people like in our life that like inspire us and like connect. And I just I'm really happy about that. I yeah. feel like lucky even to be having this conversation. Like this is so like connected. Yeah. Well, it's lightning and it's why I do this. It's like, it's yeah. my favorite Good thing job. to do. No, it's my favorite thing to yeah. do. Like I love connecting with people. That's why it's like, I, you don't need to be funny here. Fuck that. I don't care. I don't care what people are be like. It's not fun. I don't give a shit. Then don't watch it. Like I don't <laughs> care. It's, it's, this is, yeah. this is what I'm doing. Like if you want to do something different, go yeah. start your own. I don't care. Like, yeah. But I think that's, I've really struggled with Los Angeles. Yeah. And my wife knows that. Like forever. I've been here a long time. How long? 21 years. 22. Wow. And um, and yeah, I just really struggle with the disconnectedness and the uh, inauthentic- inauthenticity that with we, with relationships, especially in entertainment or yeah. just out in the world of like, can you just be, just be kind? Yeah. Can you just... Say thank people you. People are scared for sure. First, yeah, and it's really hard. To, I understand it, yeah. but it is, and I understand why you say like I don't want to leave the house. It's a lot. Oh, for sure, <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, but I do leave the house, which is crazy. Which to, is like good. the fact that like you know you can do you can feel one way, but then do the opposite, or just do whatever you feel is is also. I'm I'm sorry that you've ever had a hard time in L. A. That's oh, it's okay, but that's but I. I know it's a lot of people's experience. Yeah, for sure. mine too. But I'm from here, so it's like all I know. But, but it like sucks. And there's different pockets too. There's pockets. I moved to Santa Monica, and I was like, uh, "Why is everyone here so happy?" <laughs> they do and it, yoga and eat green juice. Yeah, with juice, but the ocean ions. I guess everyone's just like, "Hi, hi," and I was like, "Why haven't <laughs> I not been here the whole time?" Yeah, because well, it's really expensive. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, and I don't listen. L.A. I love you. I've lived here a long time, longer than I've lived anywhere. I do, but I think you have to be proactive and create your own experience here and that's why i do these things mm-hmm. and 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 talk with people that i feel that with i think it's the coolest thing and that's why this whole thing and not cool like be not cool like it's fine like it's you don't have to put anything on and that's why it's like with your content yes you have really you have an entertaining 
perfect fucking hilarious show. But there's also a whole underworld, you know. Like Should I post thing. more of the underworld? Is that a thing that you would like that anyone like I I think everyone I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. But I saw people, someone post today like the best thing that ever happened to her is that she got canceled. Because it opened up this whole other world of like, now I'm free. Now I just post whatever I want without any consideration. And I thought, you know what? I think I have a lot of considerations. I think I'm afraid of this. I'm like, oh, I don't want to push anyone away. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I need to click back into like why I started this in the first place, which is it's like, it's fun. That's mainly the thing is like, this is what I want to be doing. And I've like a lot. I mean, the whole like, I think that took a lot out of me more than I even know of like, fear-based thinking and i'm like this is this has gotta i almost i don't want to wish upon getting canceled but like she seems pretty free in her content free it up free it up well let's bring me to my last question so we can get you get you going on your way um into this big old abundant world that we live in um what is so the 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 theme of this podcast obviously title of it is called not cool and I named it that because um, pers- in people's perspective, I think that my guests that, you know, are very cool. Like they have a really cool life. And, but I, what, but I'm also interested in like, what's not cool about you? Like, so what's like, what is the most not cool thing about men and Matthews? I should have thought about this before. I should have t- prepped you. No. <laughs> I don't have really good boundaries. So I say yes a lot. Um, well, I also say no a lot, but I think um, what's not cool? I don't know. <laughs> then I'm a lot more like, I guess, uh, sensitive than I find them. I feel like I'm the most sensitive creature on the entire planet and everything is too much. And I often wish um i often think i have a harder time in my body than most people and so even though i can be whatever funny vulnerable all the things like i am a wave of i can i don't know i don't know how to answer that question that's a great answer you just answered it but is that that's not cool? Like, what's it, like nerdy about me? That's, that's what, how I perceive. Like, no, it's fine. That I that I will like wake up and play word games on my phone instead of I don't know. By being not cool, I mean, <laughs> can I just clear this up? It just means the, the human part of you. That's all that means. Like, it just it's just human stuff that you're like, ah, that bothers me. A I don't bit. feel complete without a cookie after every meal. That's amazing. I feel incomplete. I really. Um. <laughs> i gotta um, I balance s- it out i will in in uh no i think this is actually kind of cool johnny doesn't he makes fun of it but he'll like talk to me and i'll be like talk like i'll sing what he's saying oftentimes and he just wants to have a conversation but i feel the need to like there's just so much more there's just a lot that goes on in the home. Yeah, I know you should, you two probably share this as well, where you're just like, damn, if anyone saw this, what you what do you do in the home that is what? unique? Why wouldn't I, well, we oh, all I do know. stuff. Yeah, like what? Well, Jen's a black belt in karate. <gasps> Yeah, and so we have karate lessons every day, oh, but I yeah. can't do karate, but I can be funny with my body. Yeah. So, and she's actually really good. <laughs> like, she could, we were talking about this on another podcast. She could kill me. Like, she could lit. Of course. Literally. But I won't. Cr- cr- That's what Johnny says, too. He's like, I could kill you, but I'm not going to. Do you understand? But I believe you. Johnny. She would kill just- me. Who I don't know. Yeah, she. Johnny I would never that. kill you. Oh my god, he would kill you with like eighty thousand soft punches. But he's to your a, arm. he's into jujitsu, and so oftentimes he'll be, he'll just say like, "Show me a move," and I'll make up the move yeah, that yeah. I think it is. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. That's what we do. I'll take his neck, and he just hysterically laughs because <laughs> yeah. in my head I'm thinking this actually is a move, and it would hurt you, yeah. and I'm giving it to you now, and he just thinks it's the funniest thing because it. No, I should. Yeah, should I? Oh yeah, we have a whole dojo that's non-existent. Like no, I we go in and we bow in, <gasps> man, and we do some real crazy shit. Like yeah, we bow in and I make up moves. Yeah, and she'll say yeah, blocker, and I'm like 
like (laughs) and she'll like go to you know like i've almost broken bones because i try to like like that and then her hand and it hurts hand alone could kill me and then i do a big drama and then i'm like oh my god and then i try to say oh my god that's me and And then i break out in a dance and then we end it oh that's so healing yeah sometimes those moments will bring out emotions though right like when you hurt yourself (laughs) Like I bonked my head recently and I just started sobbing on the floor and Johnny's like, oh, and, like, oh. and he, I stood up and he held my whole body while I went, oh. <laughs> and then he was like, that all happened because you hit your head. There's a lot in there. It's, there's so much. It's actually a really good thing if you can just injure. It was a trigger point. There are yes. trigger points on your head. Mm-hmm. I know. There's or, and this... elbow. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but like. Hit your elbow? Yeah. Your funny bone? Uh-huh. That's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. I hate it. No, there's actually a, mas- a massage place, speaking of out in Venice, that does like um, body work and they do like releasing stuff. And they- on their videos on just on Instagram, they show people like crying. I want to go there. I know. I, I was like, so bad. I want to go there immediately. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. I. Yes. I'll go. I want to cry. 100%, I need. I'll be there. Yeah, you get it. Let's go. You fucking get it. I want to bleed. Do you understand? I don't want to bleed. I do. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's another show. Will not. It's another show. It's time for another time. <laughs> Manon. Okay, so you're doing stand up now. We have two minutes. Are you you're doing stand up. Did you have a blast the last time you did stand up? Yeah, it was amazing. I was like, where have I been? Why am I not doing this every day? I was so happy to see that when you posted that. Thank you. I bet you cry. By the way, she does. Your impressions, why are you not on SNL? Did you ever audition? I sent tapes. I don't know. They're I don't fucking think I'm I think I'd be too sensitive for that. Oh my God, too much. I heard it does suck. I've heard every, everyone I've known that's been on it is like, uh, worst time of my life. Worst thing I've ever experienced. Not to shit talk it, but what? You on it? You were on it? I auditioned, but I definitely know people who were on it. Yeah, and like, they all I hate will it. Never. <laughs> yeah, and no the girl like, oh my God, it was amazing. Yeah, never, not Even long. the very successful people, like, yeah. I'm too sensitive for that. So I think I was being protected. They're protected like, we're going to get shit. you out there with your impressions somewhere else. And I was like, I need it to look like this. No, I don't. It yeah. is what it is. Who cares? Her impressions are so good. Thank you. They're so good. And you do a lot of them. Several. Enough. Enough. Do you do your impressions in your stand-up? I want to Sometimes, see. yeah. Oh my do you kill? I know you kill. They like it. It's so... It, yeah, they like it. Are you going to keep doing it? Yeah. I want to see... I just need to, like, one. get invited. I, it's weird. I, like, only do it if I get invited to... Sh- I've done three shows in one year. And it was because Bobby was like, come on. And I was like, okay, fine. One girl was like, you know, we came to see comedy. I was like... Bleh. I'm like, well, I, thought I got married for love, but I can't get everything we want. Oh, do you want a selfie or not? She's like, no. <laughs> Okay, uh, we all I, have, I have a proposal. We yeah, what's real up? Quick. You do characters, right? You do characters. Sure thing. Let's do a little something. No, we have to. I have to wrap I know. up, sweetie. It's two forty. Twenty seconds. That's let's fine. have each of your your. What's your favorite character you love to do? That's like easy on the go. Either my mom or Kale. Okay. I don't have impression. I'm not an impression. Okay, an and impression. what what is yours right now? I'll do Jennifer Coolidge because she's like so around. Good. Okay, do Gale. Right now, do Coolidge okay. sitting in the not cool as a host, as a guest. You have 20 seconds. Okay. I'm going to ask you about Italy. Go. Okay. Go. So, Jennifer, I was just wondering. So, you just packed up and went to Italy. How yeah. was it? Well, it was amazing. Uh, I brought all my dresses and my jewelry, and we had pasta and linguine, mm-hmm. and we just went on the Vespas. I don't know. Have you been to Italy? I have never been to Italy, but I do love spaghetti, and I make a mean noodle. Spaghetti and noodles are just absolutely amazing. I just, I love Italy. I love the Italy men. They're like half my size, though, and it's concerning. You know? I do know. They are so scrumptious. I love a big, I, beefy man. I, I just to... want to mirror you. I don't even want to do Coolidge no more. It's hard. It's really hard. Because they want to do that while yeah, you're yeah. doing that. <laughs> That's fine. You can do that. I want to do that <laughs> when <laughs> you're talking about Italy. I don't even do Jennifer Coolidge, but I'm you like, just did. would you look at that? <laughs> Who does that remind me of? Oh, my God. Well, that's a character. I do. I knew. The heavy breath. Yeah, it's not even Jennifer. No, that's like a real shaky lady. Oh, you guys.
guys just did the divorced ladies, yeah, the too. Yeah, we're, we're the divorced. shaky ladies. We're the divorced ones. Lady. Didn't you love that one? Yeah, you all shake Are we all get shaking? a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> divorce. You guys were holding your beverage, <laughs> just getting divorced. She does characters. She does impressions. No, it's a lot but it, to you right now. D- d- um, I don't have one that's d- calling. D- d- you just just, just can, think of one. Just think of one. Been, sorry. The just one think of one. On um the vampire. Let's, 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 oh, uh, the one you got famous. Yeah. Vampire. Yeah. Chris do that, and then Chris Sarah do K L and can go. You do, can you do? Um, and I swear to God, we have to go. It's I know. You do that, and you do Kentucky Lightning, and go. Kentucky Lightning is very similar. Just to do, well, Can I do this one? Do that one with with this one, and and You're, it's no, it's an episode of Not Cool. Go. Okay. So, oh, what's the name of your character? Kristen Stewart. Kristen. <laughs> it's not a character. That's my name. It's your Siri. That's I'm sorry. I just got back in from gardening out say I was just wondering what's it like to be a big lesbo. <laughs> I'm it's fine. It's internal. That's I don't I, I I I just am this way. Yeah. So there's not much I can like do. I don't know what it's like because I am it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes so much more sense. I also, I do Furby stuff, but it's online. It's just a little smack community that I have on AOL. Stared up. So I've I, never used AOL. I don't trust it, you know? Yeah. I think it's a scam. Yeah. I was scammed once, too. I lost $8,000. I bought a cat online that they never sent me the cat. I had a guy offer me $8,000 for me to send him a pair of my panties, so I did it, but he never sent the cash. I want to do Kristen Stewart, but I can't. <laughs> it's really hard to like stay when they're doing it. I understand. I don't know like, how you did that, but I don't know what this smells is. They don't know what this is Who is either. this character? Now I'm just, I don't know what this is. But Who's yeah, this they character? definitely have a long chin. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, they've had a long chin chin because they've had a long day and it's just yeah, all yeah. in their chin i like eating corn in the cob but it's very difficult it is hard to eat corn in the cob i've tried many <laughs> times but the cob gets stuck it's so hard to get your thing to it tap is. in the fat and match up excuse me what did you say i didn't quite get that what's that that, that last word uh, that was hard for me to understand i'm sorry just i feel like we could, have, we could put water in there and have a little fish sw- swimming around it's a little baby waterfall or something like that oh, oh yeah. baby waterfall yeah <laughs> Ow. It hurts my chin. It hurts really bad. It hurts so bad. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Angel face of my dreams, Man and Matthews. Thank you for having fun with me. Where can people find you? I mean, come on. This is like, where can you find the president of the United <laughs> States? Where can you find God? Where can you find Man and Matthews? Within all the same. Just I'm right within you. Yeah. Where where can people go? Instagram, to you? TikTok, Facebook, Man and Matthews. Or if you want more spiritual side, Man Infestation. My book is, man, what is my book? <laughs> funny how it works out. Yeah. Because it will work out and it'll be funny. And my podcast is serious but funny with me and my mans. And uh, follow the baby. When does this come out? Either this Monday or next Monday. Thank you for having me. You're such a delight. Thank I just adore you. you. I can't wait to like keep getting to know you, Thank both you. of you, in all your emotions. She's all right. We'll show you our karate chops. She's all right. <sighs> thank you for coming. I thank you. Thank you so much. It was a dream of mine to have you on the show, and thank you for coming and being Aww. so giving of your time because I know you don't have a lot. So thank you, and thank you guys for watching. And go check out everything that Manon does, and definitely check out her book. It's also an audio book. If so, if you're not a reader, listen. Do you it. want to hear my voice? It's fairly slow, so you might want to speed it up. You can put it on 1.5 it on if you want to. You can speed it up. You can <laughs> slow it down in case it takes you a while to really absorb the words. Thank you so much for coming, you guys. Bye. It's been a blast. Hey, everybody. You want more Not Cool? Then go to Instagram and subscribe to Not Cool Pod and or on my own personal page, which is Sarah Highland Rosenstein.